One of my favorite tiling window managers is the Qtile tiling window manager. It is a very nice tiling window manager. It is written and configured entirely in Python. It is basically an Xmonad clone, just rewritten in Python rather than Haskell. And one of the really great things about Qtile is it comes with a built-in panel that is very fully featured. It has a million built-in widgets. So let me show you something that I found today that I didn't know existed. So I was checking out the built-in widgets for Qtile. If you do a Google search or a DuckDuckGo search for Qtile built-in widgets, you'll get this page and it lists all of the widgets here in the left hand column that are available for your panel and by the panel I'm talking about the panel in Qtile. So everything on this panel is one of those widgets on that page. And while I was reviewing that page I noticed that every single widget on this page it has available keys that you can use as far as setting margin and padding, background color, foreground color, uh, font, and things like that. And I noticed this right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Every widget has this key here, mouse callbacks. What is that? Well, that is a dictionary of mouse button press callback functions. Basically, you can set functions that when you press a button on the mouse on that widget, it runs that function. So, for example, button one on the mouse is your typical, you know, left click button. And we can write a function. So when I, for example, left click on my Bitcoin ticker here, <laughs> you know, it actually runs some kind of function. We're going to have to write a function for it. But that's pretty neat. I actually did not know that the Qtile widgets had these mouse callbacks. I don't think they've been around that long. See, I've been a Qtile user for many years, seven or eight years probably. And of course, Qtile, you know, keeps being developed. They keep adding new features and my configs date back so many years, you know, I, I don't often go to the documentation and look at some of the new features they're adding. So when I saw this mouse callback functionality, I was kind of blown away because I immediately started thinking about all the cool things that I can do by being able to click on all my widgets. And that's exactly what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my config and I'm going to start adding some cool mouse callback functions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Qtile config. So let me launch that and I'm going to go ahead and launch this in Vim. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And in my config, if I do a search for all caps widgets, I have a section here, this commented section here called widgets. And of course, this is my panel. It's basically a widget list for everything that is in my panel. Everything you see as far as group box, which is the list of windows, the run prompt, which is a, a D menu prompt. You won't see it since I'm not running D menu at the moment. Window name, of course, is the name of the window with focus right now. It's the Alacrity terminal. And then you see I have my Bitcoin ticker. I have a thermal sensor for CPU temp. I have Pac-Man updates and various text box widgets, which are just these Unicode arrows that give me this power line effect. Pretty straightforward, actually. If you take a look at my config, you should be able to figure out very easily how these this whole widget system works. You see, I define a widget and then I have a list of keys that I define, such as font size, margin, padding, border width, etc. You can get the keys for each widget on the built-in widgets page. Every widget you know, in the documentation will list all the available keys for you. And one of the things I think I'm going to do is I would like on my panel, I want some kind of start menu button. I want some kind of icon or image that I can press that brings up a menu system of some kind. Even though it's a tiling window manager, I'm going to start making this more desktop environment like. I want some kind of menu button that when I press it, something comes up, even if it's just D menu or row V, you know, some kind of run command prompt. So if I go back to the built in widgets and look for widgets that I could use, I notice there is this image widget. It is called widget.image the capital I in image. So that's what I'm going to do. And I notice it does support mouse callback events too. So let's start there. So I'm going to go back here and let's add one of these image widgets. So in Vim, I'm going to hit O on the keyboard to start a new line here. And I'm going to add widget dot image and then opening parentheses. I'm going to space down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add the closing parentheses and a comma just because I know if I don't go ahead and add that I may forget it later. It's going to cause me some problems. And then for the keys, the available keys, I know for sure I need a file name because we need the file name of the image that's going to be 
the image widget. And then I know I'm going to use the mouse callbacks keys as well. I don't know if I will use any of the other ones. I may. Let's go back and I'm going to go ahead and add file name. Space equals and then in quotes I need the location to the file name and I noticed the documentation did say that the tilde character was okay to use in the file name so the little squiggly tilde character that's your alias for your home directory and I know I have got a uh, directory on my system at dot config slash qtiles slash icons and that's where I keep icons for the various layouts but I also have an icon in there called python dot ping so let me me go ahead and just add that and that will be our start menu button and then at the end of that line very important do not forget the comma if you forget the comma it will error out on you and then after that let's add the new line and mouse underscore callbacks space equals space and then how do we do mouse callbacks I'm gonna have to review the documentation here mouse callbacks looks like we need to do these inside the curly braces so let me go back and I'm gonna do an opening and closing curly brace and then if I look deeper into the documentation I did notice that I found this page here for basically your widget dot base file and I noticed it does give me an example of exactly what to do with a mouse callback event it needs to be in the curly braces and then in single quotes the button on the mouse we're using and then a colon and then the name of whatever function we're writing let me get back over here so if we do this exactly the way it suggested we need single quotes and then inside single quotes I'm going to do button one because that's the left click button on the mouse that's the one I want to do this for and then what do we want this image widget to do well I want it to run some function I'm going to call it open D menu because I think that's a simple function to write and I don't need a comma at the end of this because that was the last uh, key that we're adding but I think we're good there the only thing is we need to actually write a function now so let me go up here I'm gonna create some space and I'm gonna create a new section here and I'm gonna comment mouse callbacks well, let's just create a new section here in the config and then what I'm gonna do is let, I'm gonna go ahead and write a simple function so let's go ahead and define open D menu and then in parentheses qtile and then this is very important at the end of this line we need a colon and then let's go ahead and hit enter and then make sure you are spaced over about four spaces here in Vim it automatically spaces me over it knows exactly what needs to go on here and then qtile dot cmd underscore spawn so this is a qtile command to spawn something what do we want to spawn well in parentheses and in single quotes we want to spawn this command dmenu underscore run that is your command line way of launching dmenu now if the punctuation and everything is correct I could colon W to write this in Vim and then super shift R to restart Qtile and we didn't get any errors and my python.ping image is loading right here and let's see if dmenu runs when I click on it with the mouse dmenu runs when I click on it with the mouse how cool is that escape and dmenu goes away click on it dmenu launches and of course I could get much more creative with that mouse callback so if I go down to where I have my memory widget you see I have memory and how much memory is in use versus my total memory so I have 64 gigs of RAM and I'm using about 3.3 gigs and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call a mouse callback function here and I created this function open htop and if I scroll back up I've already created the function here open htop what is it gonna do it's gonna spawn the alacrity terminal and launch htop inside alacrity so let me go ahead and write and restart and if I didn't create any kind of errors here okay it restarted just fine so now when I click on the memory widget it launches htop for me that way if there's any memory problems you know I just click on the memory widget htop opens up and I can see what is sucking up you know all of that RAM I'm gonna go ahead and create a mouse callback for my volume because that's another one that I suspect I will need something for uh, along the way I'm gonna create a new function for it and I'm gonna call it open pavu because I think what I want to do is click on the volume and then it opens pavu control and I've already created the function I've defined open underscore pavu to run uh, qtile command spawn pavu control so let me write restart 
And if there's no errors, it restarts just fine. And now when I click on volume, uh, when I click on volume, it's muting and unmuting. So I had already had something set up for volume. Yeah, I think the problem with the volume widget is it already has mouse functionality built in uh, by default, the left mouse button mutes and unmutes, and then the scroll wheel can lower the volume and raise the volume if you do the scroll wheel. So I probably will scrap that idea of using mouse callbacks with the volume widget because it's already got a lot going on. What I may do instead is do something for my Pac-Man updates widget. So let me find the widget for Pac-Man. Uh, here it is. And let me go ahead and paste a mouse call back. And I'm going to do, instead of open Pavu control, I'm going to do open Pac-Man and escape. And let me get back up to where I was defining those functions. Since I didn't use open Pavu, I'm going to rename this to open Pac-Man. And what I want this to do, I want this to launch our terminal. So I'm going to run alacrity dash E and then I wanted to run this command, sudo pacman dash capital S lowercase y lowercase u escape. Let's write, let's restart Qtile. And if all of that worked correctly, now when I click on my Pacman updates widget, which I don't know if I have any updates, let's click on it and see. I notice clicking on my updates widget is actually not doing anything. Ah, there it goes. I don't know why it, it didn't work at first, but now, you know what I think? I think it took a, a, a few seconds for the widget to actually run whatever it runs to figure out how many updates are available. And once the widget actually ran <laughs> and displayed the number of updates, now clicking on it actually launches these terminals. And these terminals, of course, are asking me for my sudo password because it opened Alacrity and it's trying to run sudo pacman syu. And if I entered my password, it actually does run sudo pacman syu. And if I decline to take this update right now, because it looks like it'll take a while, uh, the terminal closes immediately <laughs> because it's one of these weird situations where, you know, when you're trying to run, uh, launching a terminal and then launching a command line ap application from the terminal, it closes immediately uh, once it's done or once you cancel it. Well, I think that's all I'm going to do with these mouse callback functions for right now. I'm going to go ahead and push my config to my GitLab for those of you that want to examine my config to see how exactly you need to go about adding these mouse callbacks to your widgets. But I think it's really neat. I'm actually kind of impressed for, you know, just spending a few minutes on this. I kind of like the Python logo and the fact that when I click on it, you know, I get a D menu. Uh, it actually launched D menu on the wrong screen that time. Let me make sure I have focus on the right monitor. Yeah you guys see at that time. That's pretty cool. And of course, instead of D menu, I could have it launch Rofi or U Launcher or Synapse or or anything you want. But I, I just thought that was really neat because I know a lot of especially newer to tiling window manager users kind of miss having a button they can click on and access some information. I just think that's kind of neat to have in my config. All right, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank Michael, Gabe, Haplo, Nate, Corbinian, Mitchell, Entropy, UK, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Omri, Paul, Sean, Tobias, and Willie. These guys, they are the producers of the show. Without these guys, you wouldn't know about mouse callbacks on these panel widgets in Qtile. You wouldn't know about it. Also, I need to thank each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, this is all my supporters over on Patreon because this channel is supported by you guys, the community. No corporate sponsors here at DistroTube. If you'd like to support the channel, search for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.